Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing, I have not forgot, a project pan update. And you guys will be very happy because I have been doing quite well, I have to say. We had a little setback though in February when I was having my health issues, but we are back into using these products regularly. One product only in here, I feel like I completely failed. <laughs> but you will see why. And the rest, you know what? We have some empties in here. I'm very happy. If you don't know what a project pan is, you can go check out my previous video, but mine is more so a rolling project pan where I set certain products aside that I want to use up. And a lot of the times they will be almost empties too, because I have this weird thing <laughs> where I can't use up a full product. I think maybe I will eventually need that couple uses left and then I never end up using it. So I'm stopping myself from doing that. <laughs> and that's kind of how I'm working mine. So it's based on my own usage, my preferences. This is what works for me and it's clearly working. I'm doing well, I'm proud of myself. <laughs> so let's get started on some empties in here that I used up. So I used up the Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer completely used that up. I had this with such little left for so long and I finally just decided to use that whole thing. I like this primer. I wouldn't repurchase it anytime soon because there's other primers I'm really loving which you're gonna see. I completely used up this Dosa Colors concealer in 16. I love this concealer but I've recently decided what my favorite concealer is right now it might surprise some of you. It doesn't surprise me because I always go back to it. We'll get there. But I just wanted to share with you the things that I have used up and then we'll add in our new products after I'm done showing you all my updates. So that's used up. I also finally finished my Tarte Clean Slate Timeless Smoothing Primer. This is great if you have pores that need to be filled in. It just feels so good. Like, look at that completely used up. So this is for my friends out there who have very large pores and need some serious filling in action. This is probably the best out there, honestly, for really pushing in and gunking up those pores to smooth them out. <laughs> so this is good for my nose, especially because I can sometimes get some craters in there and this helps fill that in. But I have recently started using up some of my other pro products, which you will see. Once I completely use up those other products, then I will treat myself to purchasing something like that again. I put this into my project pan because I can't really use up lip products, but this was one of those ones that I was almost used up. I know it's a mini, but for me, that's still a lot of one color of lip gloss to use up, and it's the Fenty Beauty Sweet Mouth Lip Gloss, which I finally used up that mini. And then I was trying to use this up before I used my lip sleeping mask and gummy bear. This is the, I'm laughing because I'm obsessed with the gummy bear. I really need to stop talking about it. But anyways, so this is the Laneige lip sleeping mask, just the original. And I shockingly like the gummy bear more. So that's what I'm using currently. And I kept dipping into that one and not using this one up. So I've just set this aside to use up and now I rewarded myself with the Gummy Bear Lip Sleeping Mask. So no more of the original Gummy Bear for life because they made that permanent so I can <laughs> use that for life now. And then I used up my One Size Ultimate Setting Powder. I really like this as a powder but I definitely have other powders that I like more than this. This was good at the time, just the translucent shade. I really enjoyed it and I even took off the sifter just so I could get every last bit of powder out of there but there's affordable powders that I've been loving more like my Maybelline Fit Me Loose. This was one of the best decisions I made this year because I could really go back to old products and find out some affordable options that I don't even need all these new things coming out. Those are all the products I completely used up and then the rest I made good dents on. So we have the La Mer, the Soft Fluid Longwear Foundation with SPF 20 in here. And you can see, I've gotten it down to here. And this is a great formulation to mix with that Sephora Best Skin Ever Foundation because they're both very comparable. So just putting those two together and trying to use this up because this is clearly not my shade, this like gray. <laughs> 
Um, I just want to use this up because it was pricey. There's SPF in it. This actually makes my skin look and feel so good. If I had the proper shade in this, I would honestly buy this again. And I know this is so expensive, but I would in the future buy this again. It just makes my skin look so nice. But more than that, at the end of the day, my skin looks like it has improved with using this. So I really like La Mer. It does work for me. I find it is pricey. I wouldn't just say go out and run and buy La Mer. Like I would sample it first, like I personally did before getting into bigger sizes. But this, you know what, I will use that up. It's just taking a while because I have to be careful with that color <laughs> like mixing it in and make something too gray it's just the wrong color for me and then to help combat that I put in my favorite foundation which I haven't used up yet it would make me sad if I did and this was one of those ones that I would have to repurchase so I've been using this to kind of mix in with that La Mer so this is the Too Faced Born This Way matte 24 hour foundation and I have the shade golden which I'm wearing today this is by far the best match for me in a foundation I have ever found for when I have a tan because this has that good balance between some red golden undertones that's not overly yellow like because I tan kind of on the red side but it doesn't look red it looks golden which is what I need so this is the perfect color for me and this is I'm still working on using up but this will be easy for me, trust me, because that's the foundation I always wanna wear on my skin when I want full on full coverage. And then I did make a dent on my Fenty cream bronzer. Not as much as I thought I would have. I am wearing this today too. So I still have a ways to go on this, but I am throwing in, I think a new cream too. I love bronzer. So me throwing in bronzer is one of those things I know I can eventually use up. Me putting in a blush or a lipstick is just pointless, honestly, because, or a highlight, like I'm never going to use those up. And then this is another bronzer that I love that I'm always, always wearing. And this is the MAC Give Me Sun. It's no longer domed. I was doing a good job on this when I put this in, because this was one of those things I was working on even before I ever made a project pan for YouTube. I was personally trying to use this up on my own as a personal goal of mine. So this is gonna take some time too. Like it takes forever to use up powders and I don't think you realize how long it takes to use up a product until you start a project pan. I really encourage you guys to make these goals for yourself to try and use up the products you have before you go out and buy new stuff. I'm trying to be more mindful personally this year. It's been a goal of mine and I've been thoroughly enjoying this. So I wanna do these updates every three months so I get quarterly use out of everything. So I have enough time to really test stuff out before I do updates because I clearly was able to do a good update this time because I had all the, oh my God, that scared me. <sighs> I had eyelash in here. It looked like a spider. Just have to calm my heart down i don't even remember what i was saying it doesn't matter because that was almost the spider in there so i wouldn't consider these fails <laughs> somewhat fails but not this product because it's gonna take me like a lifetime to use this up so this is the orbe maximista thickening spray and i added this in because i wanted to tell myself to stop purchasing hair products that i never use and i didn't use this today and i could tell because my hair is kind of limp and every time I've been using this, it really does make a difference. Like I love this thickening spray and I believe you can get Orbe on Sephora now. So this is one of those products that I'm so glad I put into this project pan, even though I'm probably never going to use this up in years, <laughs> probably. So you won't get to see the use out of this so much as a completely empty thing. Like this is gonna take me a long time but it's nice to kind of realize that a, a product like this will take me that long. <laughs> so why are you buying thickening sprays when you have this? Don't do it. So that's one of those products you don't need to buy more of. You have that one, it's gonna last you a long, long time. This I've had, I can't even remember how long, probably over 10 years, <laughs> this hairspray. More, 15, I don't know, too long. This is the Beyond the Zone Pro Formula Flipped Out hairspray. I don't even know if they make it anymore, but this truly makes your hair huge. Like this is insane how good this texturizes and adds volume to your hair. Almost too good. 
this is another product that is probably going to take me my lifetime to use up. And knowing that, I don't need any other sort of sprays like this. So hair products, Cheryl, stop buying. And then this was absolutely a complete fail. <laughs> so this is the Bondi Sands Everyday Gradual Tanning Milk. I just can't be bothered to apply moisturizer, let alone a tanning lotion to my skin every day. I complain about being dry and then I don't do anything about it. Like that's my own fault. So this, another thing I'm reminding myself to do, I need to apply moisturizer, whether it's a regular moisturizer, my everyday tanning milk, which I wanna get into for spring and summer just to keep my tan going. Use this, mentally telling myself to use this because I didn't use it one day in that three months, not one. <laughs> And now for the products I want to add to this next round of product pan. So I'm going to be continuing to use the things that I failed at and are currently trying to use up. And these are the things that I wanna roll over to the next time. So I did put in all my Urban Decay brow blades because I recently switched over to the NYX Lift and Snatch. I hate the name. I've been using that for when I film and I'm trying to use these up on days that I'm not filming because I do much prefer the Lift and Snatch now from NYX as opposed to the Urban Decay pens, which I never thought would happen. So I still love these. That's why adding them to my everyday trying to use up, I can all enjoy doing that for sure, because I still love these. Nothing wrong with them. It's just finding a more affordable option is just the way to go. So I'm going to be purchasing NYX from now on. I have two powders that I wanted to add in because I used up that one size one. I'm almost done this Huda Beauty one. It's very, very low. Can you see that? Super low. So this is the Huda Beauty Pound Cake, the Easy Bake Loose Baking and Setting Powder. Love this for underneath my eyes, and I believe I can use that up if I try. I've been really into my Maybelline Loose Powder, so I'm gonna have to force myself to use that up. And then I have this Fenty Beauty Blotting Powder, which I hit pan on a long time ago, and I figured I could get my use out of this by touching up my face if I need to and just trying to use this up as like a overall setting and smoothing powder. So I think I can do that. I found that in my collection. I remember really liking that and I thought that would be fun to use up. Another Huda Beauty product that I wanted to add to my project pan is the Tantor Contour and Bronzing Cream. And I have the shade Fair. I wanted to pick up light <laughs> recently, but I'm like, you know what? You should use this up first. And I've been really enjoying this just to add a little bit of contour and definition that's a little bit more cool tone compared to that Fenty one that I showed in Teddy. I use this the same that I would use that, but more so just to really chisel out a contour that has that kind of grayish tone to it. So I did add this to complement, even though the Teddy is going to take me a while to get through and that's just going to prolong it. I still want to use it up. So I'm adding that to my project pan. And then two primers I have, the Rare Beauty Primer. I've almost used up. This is the mini. I stopped myself again when I was loving this because I was afraid of running out. And I should have just used it up, you know, and buy it if I like it. So that one's going in there. And then I recently fallen in love with this primer and thought it would be a good addition. Just like that Too Faced Born This Way Matte Foundation. This is something I could use every day and love. So this is the marshmallow primer from NYX adding that in there just to have something I love to try and use up. That's pretty much full. And then my favorite concealer I have decided finally, I've gone through stages and I always, always, always go back to this and it's the KKW Beauty Concealer. She has since changed the packaging so they are longer now. I want to use up these old concealers and then I can buy a new one. So I have shade five, six, and eight. You know I like a concealer when I have multiple shades. So I've already used up a five and have this one that's pretty close to being used up. And then I have six and eight, which are good because those are my summer months. Right now I'm actually using eight. So these are good concealers to have in that rotation that I want to use up. Three is kind of a big ask, but I range in skin tone, so I kind of I need that variety personally. Reason why I like the KKW concealer is it's super blendable. I feel like my under eyes look the best when I'm using it. Like they look really, really good. And lately, since I've started using that again, I just notice it looks better. So I really like that formula. It's not drying, it's hydrating, has good coverage, blends out easily, good tones. That's why I love it. I think it's a good addition. And that will be everything 
for my project pan and my update. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and maybe do a project pan yourself because it is really beneficial and helpful to see how long it takes to use something up. Or if you're like me, just stop holding on to stuff and just use them up. And it's been really, really fun to do. So I'm really happy I did this on camera this year to show you guys what I'm using up. And I think I've been doing a good job considering I had like a whole month where I was out of commission. So this is good for me. I'm happy. I like my additions. I'm just overall really, really happy about this. And I hope you guys enjoy this. So if you like these update videos and want to continue to see Project Pan on my channel, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up so I know you like these kinds of videos. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. Hit that bell if you want to be notified of all my future videos. I'll see you guys in my next one.